go hard. I, I go hard. Hey guys, I'm Igor and welcome back to our channel. That's the video that you have been waiting for. Today we're finally going to review the new Yumi M10. This is the best price to spec ratio scooter we have ever tested. I don't know how many times you guys asked for this review in the comments and we will jump straight into it very soon. And by the way, we really appreciate your support. Our channel is becoming more and more active. So we give a huge thanks to all of you guys. If you are new here and you enjoy videos like this, smash the like and subscribe buttons. It massively helps with the YouTube algorithm which motivates us to make more and even better videos for you guys. In our unboxing video, I told you guys that this scooter is going to to be one of the best sellers in under $2,000 category. And today we will finally show you the M10 in action. The price of the Yumi M10 is $1,800, which is pretty low for what it offers. You will also get $100 off if you use our exclusive promo code NOBLEX. You will find the promo code and link to the product in the description below. You will have to decide fast, because after making our unboxing video, the first batch sold out very quickly. Well, that's probably due to the fact that this scooter is extremely good value for the money. Make sure to stay with me till the end of this video because we are going to dive deep today and uh, we will show you everything you need to know about the Yumi M10, including pros and cons. Also, there are some surprising features that we didn't expect to see in an affordable e-scooter. I will quickly go over the extras that you get with this scooter. You get this free bag for your accessories, which is a, like a $50 bag. It's uh, waterproof, it's really nice. You get two chargers. Uh, that's a really nice addition. You can charge it in just five hours. Uh, so you will also find those uh, remote keys, two of them, and uh, you get a remote control for the lights. So the Yumi M10 has a really simple design. I really like it. Uh, the first thing I would do though, I would change this grip tape because I'm not a huge fan of blue color. Other than that, that's a really nice looking scooter. Everything is like in black colors, matte black. And uh, you can also change the lights of the scooter. It features those deck lights and uh, the stem light. You have the turn lights, brake lights. Everything is on point and uh, I don't have any complaints about the design at all. So it looks like the scooter has a really nice wire organization. Everything is nice and clean here. And now let's see what we have inside the deck. Uh, it looks like they have only one controller. There should be two controllers, not one. Okay, let's lift the battery. That's for you guys. You want to see the controllers? <laughs> At least you know that the battery is properly attached. Okay. And the battery is 60 volt, 22.5 ampere hours. And, uh, and the battery brand is Li Shan. That's a Chinese brand. Actually, it's not that bad. We checked their website. They make batteries for electric cars, buses, and they're pretty popular in China. So I believe this battery should be fine. And if it's not, they give you a six month warranty on the battery. That should be enough to understand if your battery is defective or not. Let's close it now. But as you can see, the wiring is fine. It's not messy at all because on some scooters, just a huge mess. And on this one, the controllers are like really compact. It's not mentioned on the product page, but for this price point, we didn't expect this scooter to have sine wave controllers. So we confirmed with Yumi and they said, those are uh, sine wave controllers. It's a uh, 28 amp controller, uh, two of them. So sine wave controllers uh, provide you with more range and a really smooth acceleration curve. And of course, those controllers are more expensive than the regular ones. Hey guys, this is Yumi M10 speed test. We have our battery fully charged. Let's see. Let's see the max speed. So here is the result of our speed test. We got it to 42 miles per hour. And as you can see, the weather conditions are pretty bad today. 
um, it's raining and uh, I was wearing this winter jacket so I believe in perfect road conditions you can get it to 43 44 miles per hour and uh, that's pretty fast for $1,700 and it's hard to find a scooter on the market with all those features that can go faster than Yumi M10 so this is the range test of the Yumi M10 and uh, the claim range of the scooter is 45 miles which is about 70 kilometers which I believe is not true because uh, the battery is not huge I will be using turbo mode dual drive and second gear pretty much all the time my guess is that we will be able to get 25 miles or about 40 kilometers of range from this battery my average speed will be 20 to 25 miles per hour 30 to 40 kilometers per hour the weather is really sunny today and there is no problems with the display visibility it's pretty bright uh, in, the, in the direct sunlight so here is the horn so we have turn lights here uh, the main light switch eco turbo dual single buttons i mean the handlebar is really wide the scooter has a lot of space for your extras Here is the result of our range test of the Yumi M10. We got 50.2 kilometers, which is about 31 miles. Our average speed was around 35 kilometers per hour or like 20, 25 miles per hour. And we were using uh, dual drive all the time, second or third gear. And uh, of course the power start. So those were not the slowest settings very far from that so that was a pretty quick run and uh, we're quite happy with the results we believe that was a really fair range test because we had a lot of stops a lot of accelerations a lot of distractions so that's pretty much what you can expect from this scooter in real world conditions so the Yumi M10 features fully hydraulic zoom brakes. Those are very smooth brakes. I really like those. You can press them literally with one finger. The speed is now 15 miles per hour. The braking distance is about three meters from 25 kilometers per hour or 15 miles per hour. So as you can see, the brakes on the Yumi M10 are pretty sharp. No complaints at all. Okay guys, despite the fact that the deck is not the widest, it's still quite large and you have this really comfortable footrest I mean there are no complaints about uh, comfort uh, of the scooter I mean it's very you have a lot of space for your feet and uh, the riding position is very natural I, I really like it one more thing I want to show you is this folding mechanism it's really good this is the biggest clamp we have ever seen it's huge it's very solid and uh, here's how you fold the scooter just like this and uh, there is no way you can attach the stem to the deck but it doesn't hit the display or like it, the stem doesn't hit the deck like you see it on the Nandrobot D6 Plus or Varla Eagle One there is no way you can hit the, uh, the deck with your stem but here's how you can carry the scooter it's like 77 pounds or 35 kilograms and again this clamp is absolutely awesome there is zero stem wobble what I really like about the Yumi M10 design is that they have this stem razor and you can actually adjust the height of the handlebars if you're not very tall guy you can make it like lower and uh, for example I have it in this kind of position uh, I find it very comfortable you can make it even higher so this is a really nice small feature that I find very useful. So let's talk about the suspension. The suspension on this scooter is really good because it's adjustable suspension. So you have this adjustment knob here and you can rotate it right and left to adjust the damping. So we tested it and uh, basically you can make it kind of soft you can make it a little bit harder so depending on the surface that you ride on you can you can adjust it and uh, make it the way you want so we did our research and uh, those kind of springs cost about 50 dollars each and you have two of them in the front and at the back and also in addition to 
the adjustment knob, you can rotate this bezel to make the suspension even harder or softer. So that's pretty easy. The, the tool costs about like $10 on Amazon. I have to say that the Yumi M10 is a great scooter for off-roading. It feels very stable on pretty much any terrain. And the suspension is very responsive too. Since it has an adjustable suspension, it feels even better on rough terrain than similar scooters in this price range. Another huge selling point for the Yumi M10 is that it has tubeless tires. This means that you will have less flats on this scooter. And another thing, just check how wide the tire is. This is the newest version of the Yumi M10. And if you compare it to the regular uh, 10 inch tire, the off-road one, uh, you will notice the difference between two. I think this one is four inches wide and this one is three inches wide. This is definitely better for off-roading. You will have more stability uh, over your scooter. And uh, this is the regular road tire that every brand uses. Uh, this is the cheapest tire that you can get and it's two inches wide. Just check how thin it is compared to the Yumi's. Uh, four inch wide tires. This is a huge advantage uh, when it comes to ride comfort and overall stability. I really like those. So as you may have guessed, the scooter will not have any problems with hill climbing. It has total power of 2,400 watts. Each motor is 1,200 watts and it's a 60 volt system. Uh, you will not have any problems on steep hills. So the scooter comes with those two remotes. One is for the alarm system and the second one is for the lights. You can choose different colors. A lot of flashy lights, solid colors, whatever you want. I prefer a solid color, that's what I like. So using the remote control, you can turn off the deck and stem lights and you'll only have this front light working. And you have a switch on the handlebars to switch it on or off. Here is the remote control for the alarm system and uh, here is how it works. You can lock it and uh, when someone tries to steal it, the scooter will start screaming. It's not very loud, but still a quite good system. And uh, as you can see, I cannot switch it on. You'll have to press this button twice. Here we go, now it works. And if you want to lock it, you just press this button once and it turns off. The alarm is on. That's it for today, guys. If we missed anything, if we didn't answer something, please let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more tech reviews in the future. Ride safe and see you next time.